uh, on class. So they, I'd love you to join in this. So class, I'm educated to degree level, says this person. I'm a retired primary school teacher. I'm married to a lawyer. I'm middle class, but I'm also a farm worker, worker's daughter. Can you get more working class? Which is it? And Jim and Bankery, anyone who actually needs to work to earn money to live is a member of the working class. And Ian says the working class are deep thinkers, learned and sagacious, often to be heard saying the likes of which for you won't go by you. 80295. And we're, we're asking this because maybe it's not something you think about much or maybe you don't think it's relevant in the 21st century or maybe it's a really important part of who you are and something you believe still defines you and me in Scotland. And before we came on air, I spoke to the sociologist and author, Colin Burnett. Now, he's got a book out called Working Class State of Mind. And it follows the main character, Aldo, and friends as they navigate life in Edinburgh. And I began by asking him what being working class actually means. That's quite a hard question to answer. Working class is a state of mind in the sense that, like, I could be, like, um, I could make, make a lot of money, but I still feel working class because I've had the experiences, like, I've had experiences in the welfare system, I know what hardship feels like. Um, so I think it's just, I think it's based on your own personal experiences and how you interpret them. Yeah, it maybe does, but just expand on that then. So to be defined as working class, what, uh, what do you need to be or what needs to have happened? You need to have experiences, uh, real real life of them being quite frank. Um, I think, like I said, like the welfare system, I was like, I've had like experiences of that myself. I think um, like your background, like, it's about, I'd say it's about your own personal experiences and your family history because, like, for me, like, like I've said before, like, I've had ex- personal experiences of, like, uh, like, hardship and stuff like that. I'm just curious, though, could you, could you be working class if you don't work? So the, the whole name working class has nothing to do with working? Oh, no, yeah, 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 you can be working class and not work, yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially if you're unemployed, I think it's harder because people sort of think this idea that um, you go to the welfare, you can you go to a local job centre and... They, they just hand you money, which can't be further from the truth. I don't think employment becomes in it because you can be working and you can still be in poverty. Um, I think that's, that's a misconception as well. And because you work, that doesn't mean you don't know what poverty means because a lot of people who I know work uh, struggle for money, live like day to day. Like I grew up in a working class area. So like basically growing up like in the high school, our social status is based on how well you could kick off football or how well you could fight. And whereas middle class people at a young age are sort of pushed towards going to university college, working class people nowadays, I think you're just sort of left to figure it out yourself. My niece, she works, at, she works like loads of hours and she's only, she's only paid like £4 an hour because she's um, 17. A lot of people who work can't make ends meet and can't, are, are struggling to support their families. If somebody then works and gets rich... You know, you become rich, or you let's say you're middle, you you become middle class. You, you certainly have middle class earnings, but you still think of yourself as working class. Is it just trendy for middle class people to say they're working class, or can you become rich while still working hard and being working class? Well, no, well, I think if working class people do have like uh, make a success of themselves, I do think they can still be working class because, like I said, I think it's a lot to tie with experiences. And I like you touched on there, uh, John. Um, I think middle class people do like to say they're they're working class. I've noticed that a lot, like with the arts, because I think it's a cool thing to be. Because you can see like, how my granddad was a writer. Or being working class, I think if you have success later on in life, I think because of your experiences, you know what the struggles people face that are in poverty or kind of whatever. I think that that itself it still keeps you uh, moulded to being working class. And I don't think that will ever leave you. I don't think you can ever experience poverty or hardship and just suddenly forget. That's the author, Colin Burnett. So what defines working class? 80295 is the number.